Dating is really hard, but can we use math in order to make it easier? A big reason why dating is so hard is because there's so many options out there and you want to go and shop around a bit to see what the goods are like, but you also don't want to shop around too long because the ones you like might end up being taken away or you might just get too old. So given this, there must be an optimal number of people that you see just to see like what's out there before you make a decision as to who do you end up marrying. And this is an optimization problem, so we can use math to solve it. Given that you will only be able to date n number of people within your lifetime, what percentage of those people should you see just to collect data? And n is a number that you decide for yourself, whether that be just 10 or 100. Anyways, the answer is... 37%. If you can only date 10 people in your lifetime, that means that you should see three of them first just to collect data on the dating pool, and then you choose whoever's the best person that comes along next after them. Likewise, if you can see 100 people, you should see 37 people first just to collect data, and then you choose whoever comes next that's the best out of all of the above. This is made on the assumption that once you date someone, that you can't go back to them. But anyhow, it's a mathematical simplification, and follow along to see the proof behind all of this.